Hello. And hang on just a moment. Let me put myself back in the shot here. Thank you all so much for coming and welcome to Food Fridays. And it is I Bring It Every Day. And my name is Kelly. And oops, I hit a button. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Let me turn this off. I hate this background music. Night driving. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, it's Food Friday. So we're going to make some soup today. I'm actually going to show you first before I get started on my soup. I'm going to be doing this uh, spicy lentil, uh, carrot lentil soup today. And I made also um, chicken noodle soup for my husband because he's been asking for it. So I said, okay, I'm going to do a veggie and a uh, chicken dish. So anyway, so what, what we have here is we have, this is the chicken noodle soup or chicken soup actually. Haven't had the noodles yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> and, and it's been going for a little while because chicken takes a while to cook. And then I just want to say hey to everybody in the chat real quick. And uh, oh, I see we have some people. Yes. Uh-oh. And we have, oh, Katrina's been a member. Yay. For 10 months. We've got to show that first. Okay. So we have uh, Dawn Yarndal was here. She's number one. Happy Friday. I bring it every day. And Kelly and friends. Yes. Bring it. Hydrate. And make sure you crochet. Yes. Thanks for coming in. And from the VJ raid. Yes. So we'll say hi to everybody. And uh, thank you so much for coming in. This is good. Yes. And there's Bonnie. Yes. And I put a little, um, oh, hey, <laughs> Kelly. Hey, hey. So what happened was I put a little clip on just to kind of get you started with uh, the show. But just a little thingy there. And then, oh, there's Katrina. Thank you so much. And uh, hi, sis. Kelly, I bring it every day at all in chat. I'll be here listening and crocheting. Okay. And you're working on that um, mosaic, I think. Yes. Okay. So then we got uh, Moses. All right. Hello, everyone. Everyone say hi. Okay. So let's see. Oh, yeah. And Suzanne's here. Whoops. Saying hi to Suzanne. Hello. Welcome in. There's a lot of steam. <laughs> I know you can see that steam. Isn't that crazy? Yes. So soup is very steamy. Yes. And everyone's saying hi. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you uh, basically the, the recipe. So I'm doing a vegetarian meal and a uh, chicken meal today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the video of the chicken soup. And I'm going to switch sides here and see if I can do this and see if this looks better. Nope, did not get bigger. Let me try it again here. Got to get big. Yes. Hold on, I think this is it. Is that it? Nope, yeah, not bigger. Let me see if I can do one more. I want it to be bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. And hopefully you can see this a little better here. All right. Is that better? Nope. Oh, here we go. This is better. Ah, right, here we go. Got it. Okay, hello. So we got people coming in here. So let's see. I saw. Let me just make sure I got everybody. But anyway, oh, listen, let me let me thank um Katrina first. There we go. For becoming a member for eight months or ten months, sorry, bad reading, ten months. <laughs> so let me let me let me just take a step back. But I wanted to make sure I say thank you so much. I really appreciate you supporting the channel, and um, I've got some things planned. So we'll see if this all comes through. You know, every little bit helps to kind of get over the hump. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shipping, so shipping is very very pricey, as everybody knows. But anyway, thank you so much, Katrina, for being a member. And um, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. And if you threw a party, invited everyone you knew. Yours would be the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. Okay. So there's Katrina. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So let's see. All right. So we got everybody. Yeah. So anyway, thank you once again for coming in. But here is the general recipe. So first, what I'm going to do is I'll show you the video of the, uh, of, of, of the chicken soup. So what I basically did was, um, this is it here. And let me see if they can see that. Oh, ah, sweet. Yes. Is, oh, thank you, Bonnie. So anyway, so there's the chicken soup there. Oh, this is really hot. 
Anyway, it's been going for a while. Oh, you're wearing your T-shirts with the Golden Girls. Are you kidding me? That's pretty cool. <laughs> but there's the chicken soup. And then we're going to do the um, the lentil soup back in there. And I'm only going to make a little bit because there's only two of us. Once again, it's always the situation where they always want you to make quite a bit. And um, what I did was in this chicken soup that you can see there is I made my own broth. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this first. And I'll just show you the steps that I took. And this way, then I can get started on the other one. <laughs> okay. So anyway, here it goes. Let me see if I can share this, share my screen. And uh, this is cool. I love it. Let's see if we can do this here. Yeah, you, you'll like this. Because I actually got a chance. I think I got this to work finally. So let's see. Let's see if this works. All right. And this will give you sort of a background of how I did this. Uh, let's see here. Let's show this. So in this, I cut up some collard greens and um, some celery and then some carrots. And then I just put a bunch of water in and I'm using this as my vegetable stock or vegetable broth. And you can also buy it. You know, you can buy it from the stores and that's one way to do it. But I just wanted to show you, you can do this for most soups. And if you want to put some meat in there, you know, you could put the chicken in or you could put the beef broth or some kind of bone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat. My husband wants some chicken noodles. So I'm just doing some um, broth separately and I'm going to put the chicken in here and then add it to the broth once this gets going. But it's been going probably like 20 minutes. I'm going to turn this now. But anyway, you can sort of see what's going on there. But yeah, I just took some fresh carrots and things like that and just, uh, you know, peeled them and then I just added it. And then you can use whatever type of seasoning you want to put in there, just the general seasoning, or you can use the bouillon. So that's the one way you can do soup. Okay, so then I got some grapeseed oil on the bottom and I'm just gonna put the skin down and I'm just gonna sear the chicken. And you want to just use chicken, something with a bone in it. And then that way you should, it should get you going. So anyway, there's that. So that's how that's, I'm doing that with the chicken. Got to get this away from the other burner. Okay. And we'll continue on with the soup. So what I'm doing is I'm browning the chicken. Yeah, it's very loud. But anyway, you know, the seed's looking pretty good. Just trying to brown the skin to get some of that fat rendered out of there. So that's that. So the chicken is in the rest with the um, veggies. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning. And uh, then we're just going to let that simmer until the meat falls off the bones. And then I'll just remove the bones and then put this through a sieve just to get all the scum and things out. But anyway, that's the basic chicken soup. But you just let this cook until you know, the meat falls off. Okay, and then that's it. So it's I bring it every day and this is my chicken soup. And a quick one. And I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. Peace and love. So in this, I cut up. Okay. So anyway, that's the chicken soup. So that's really all I did. So while I guess Granny D and those guys were on, I did the... Um, I just put the put the uh, you know vegetables in just ch just cut them up small washed everything and so what I put in there was I put a little bit of I I just took veggies that I had so I had collard greens I had uh, a little bit of spinach I had some celery and then I had some carrots and that's all that I put in the vegetable broth so you guys can so what I want to just show you is that having a vegetable broth is really easy to make and it really takes no time at all. And if you want to, you can throw some um, onion in there and some other stuff. You know, whatever veggies you like, if you have any broccoli or things like that, that's something that you can throw in too to add flavor to the broth. And then you just have to add some kind of seasoning. And so that's really the biggest thing that you have to do. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just chopping these carrots just a little bit. Let me see if I can get that in there. But um, And then I'm just going to cook these until these soften up. But this is the main thing with, with the, so basically the soup is carrots. You're going to have some lentils. 
And then you're going to use vegetable broth, more vegetable broth. I'm going to use this stuff, you know, from the, from the bottle. And then you just put your seasonings in. So it's going to be cumin and um, some chili powder or chili flakes, you know, whichever one you have. And then you just cook it down and that's basically it. And then you add a little bit of uh, yogurt. You can, you can add, you know, if you're not, if you're lactose intolerant, you may want to skip the yogurt part, but you can put yogurt or milk in there. So we'll see. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but that's kind of the basic thing. So I'm just going to let this uh, chicken soup sort of go. And, um, and then I'm just going to move this guy here. I'm going to move this over here. Okay. That's a little hard to see because it is black on black, but hopefully you can see that. Okay. So I'm just going to take, so I have a little bit of cumin. These are like cumin seeds and, um, and then a little bit of chili powder. And you just put a little bit of uh, oil in the pan and you want to sort of toast the seeds until they uh, sort of get the, the, the aroma. So what you're going to smell, it's going to smell really, really good. You're going to smell some nice, let me just make sure this is on the front. Yep, the front is on. I have a little bit of oil in here because I use this pan. I actually did a little bit of, uh, I, I wiped it out, but I, I did my chicken in there. So it's nice and seasoned. But anyway, so you just put just a little bit of this cumin. So I'm going to put the cumin in. If I can get this open. <laughs> okay. So there is. I'm just putting a few seeds in there. And uh, they say about a teaspoon. I'm going to put just a little bit more. They're getting stuck in the in, in the opening there. So I'm going to put a few more of those in there. And then a little bit of the chili powder or the chili flakes or the red, you know, you could use the red pepper flakes. I think I'm going to use those instead, the red pepper flakes. Yep, we'll do that. Just putting a few of them in there. And then I'm just going to stir them until they, until they toast a little bit. And they say you do this until the, the odor comes through and it looks good. So hopefully everybody can see that. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go back to the comments. I'll try to read them as I'm cooking. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, hold on. Comments. There we go. Oh, so everyone's saying hi. So I see Maura came in. We got Butter Roll Boutique. Thank you for coming. Um, we have It's Not Magic, which is Roberta. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. We got some more squirrel raiders. Thank you so much. And everyone's saying hello. You finally crawled <laughs> and put my wayward yarn and realized it was so late. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I understand. Yes. Let's see what else. Everyone's saying yum. And everybody's saying, oh, let's see. Zoila saying hey to everybody. That's good. Anna Michelle, good to see you. So, this, so I'm doing something for you mostly. This is sort of vegetarian. But we're going to do that. So I'm just toasting the seeds for a few seconds there. Let me turn them down just a little bit. This is good. And let's see. Oh, Be Creative Pam is here. Squirrel Ray, good to see you. And let's see. Yeah, Bonnie's wearing her Golden Girl. So I think I caught up. But anyway, thank you all so much for coming. Yes. <laughs> I like I like Bonnie. Hiya, Butter. <laughs> that is hilarious. I love it. Hiya, Butter. <laughs> Sorry. It's just the little things that make me excited. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, so now the next thing, and then, oh, Maura's giving the heart, the heart hands. Nice, nice. I can't do that. <laughs> I try. It's not pretty. Okay. So anyway, so we, so we got everything, um, you know, see, you know, we, you're supposed to cook it for about a minute until it, I don't smell the aroma, but it could be just my nose. <laughs> But then um, what we do is we're going to put the carrots in next. And I should have cut these a little bit smaller, but it is what it is. We're, we're going to go chunky today. And then you just put these in. So I'm just going to put the carrots in. And I've already peeled them, but I'm just sort of cutting them in slightly smaller pieces or thinner pieces so that they'll cut, you know, that they'll cook, you know. And, um, and this is funny. Like I saw, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but somebody came out with... Um, he used carrots for a meat product, and I cannot remember what it was, a chef. And it looked really good. So I'm just going to put these in here. So we're going to put these carrots in. All right. Yes. 
I'll put those in. And then you put about a cup. I'm going to do about a cup of lentils. But you put everything in here all at one time. And this is why I say this is a pretty easy recipe. And hopefully this won't scare you away. But you have to have, you know, obviously you have to have these ingredients. But, you know, cumin is easier to find nowadays. I remember back in the day it was hard to find. But cumin is just great. And I'm just sort of just breaking these up a little bit. And hopefully you guys can see that. Yep. Okay. And then basically you add the uh, you add the vegetable broth once you get the carrots in here. You know, we already put in the seasoning. And, uh, and you just simmer them until the lentils are done. And they say it's about 15 minutes. But I have a feeling this is going to probably take a little longer since I'm being kind of uh, crazy with the uh, with the carrots. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to put like one more in. But these carrots are pretty. You know, I cleaned them all up and I uh, peeled them. And they're looking, the color is great. And they say you need about, let me see, about a cup of lentils. So I'm going to measure this. I'm sort of eyeballing this, believe it or not. But I'm going to, yeah, maybe I'll measure this. So anyway, so how's everybody's Friday going? Hopefully, uh, well, I'm just happy. It just stopped storming here. You know, I was thinking, I was afraid that it was going to storm during the course of this live stream. Because it seems like it always does that. <laughs> so I'm going to put the lentils in. All right. And I'm, oh, this carrot's great. These carrots are beautiful. I'm going to stick these in. Now I'm going to just add the, uh, now see, ordinarily, I'm going to probably go back in here. I like to have a little bit of garlic. So I'm going to probably add some garlic to this. But let's see how this goes. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. And I'm going to add about, eh, about two cups. I'm going to actually just cover this. I'm sorry about the sizzle. But this is pretty much all you do. And I'm just going to cover the carrots so that they cook. And like I said, lentils only take about 15 minutes. Is it looking good? You can mm -hmm. see? Okay, as long, yeah, as long as you can see, that's good. <laughs> All right. Yes. Put a little more in there. But anyway, your soup is basically done. I have to just put the, uh, put the uh, noodles in. Yeah, it's done. I have to taste it because I don't know. All right, I'm going to do that. Let this come to a boil. All right, and I think that's it. So we are done. Like, that's dinner. <laughs> now, am I missing an ingredient? I think we got everything. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, carrots. Yep, lentils. Vegetable stock. Yeah. And so I think we're going to skip the milk because I think you're, you were, you know, we, if you're, if you have anybody who is lactose intolerant, we'll, we'll avoid that. But you could actually add a little milk or plain yogurt, or you can put some coconut milk in there. And uh, that's really it. Man, that was quick. So this is this is just to show you that how easy and quick this is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the lid on this just to sort of get this going. And then I'll come back to the chat because we're that's really it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I'm just gonna maybe I'm gonna put some ordinarily I would put some garlic in here, but I'm gonna put some garlic powder. I mean garlic powder and I'm gonna put some onion powder in there. Mm. Also. KK travels in. Oh, hello. Good to see you. But, you know, ordinarily, like I said, I, I would I would just do this the hard way. You know, I would just put a little bit of garlic in there, but I'm just going to do it this way. And the dried ingredients, you always need just a little bit more than what you say, what you think. But, you know, we'll let that go. But that's it. We're done. <laughs> Until it cooks. Yeah. I'm Josh Caper. I don't know if you got any. Oh, no, I did not. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for coming in, Josh. All right. So let's see. Yep. And then we just taste it. Season to taste. If there's anything else we want to put in there. And my husband's eating the carrot. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's good, though. It's really good. All right. So let's see. Yes, I saw KK's Travel. Hello, Kyle. Good to see you. And Joshua Gabriel. Hello. Good to see you. So this is it. We're done. I mean, I hate to say we're done, but that's it. <laughs> I can't believe how easy that was, right? Now let me go back to the comments. And yeah, it's crazy. Yes, yes. So let's see here. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great and fantastic weekend. Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Yes. So what do you think? So if you're a you know, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, this is pretty easy. 
Yeah, good to see how I how am I doing? I'm doing great. I'm just happy that this, like I said, I'm trying to do. It's really hard. Like I've been really digging for new and easier uh, items to make. So I, it it's really taken a little bit of time to find it. Yes. So, uh, yep, Kyle's saying hey to everybody. Yes, yes. And oh, let's see. What did what did Siri? Oh, oh, my Siri fired it. Read what I wrote. Yeah, isn't that scary? I don't know. Like Siri freaks me out. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Hello. And thank you, Joshua. Good to see you. Big ups. Yes. Yes, this is good. So like I said, this is this is going to be easy. And then today, so the other thing is, and if you read the description, I put a little thing in there just to talk about um, the biggest thing for me is I'm not a big fan of lunch meat. And so, and the reason why is it's, it's heavily processed. So I always say what you can do is you can always Go with, oh, this smells really good. I put the garlic in. Oh my gosh. Woohoo. I wonder if this needs a little more cumin, but I'll tell you, it smells delicious. Now, this is going to take a minute to cook, but it's, it's, you know, it's looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, that's looking great. It's beautiful and it smells good. It, it needed some garlic. Yeah, I wasn't going to put any in, but then I said, I think I, it needs some garlic. So, like I said, you know, I showed you guys how to make that vegetable broth. You know, you can do that. And, and like I said, the, um, you know, the, the dollar stores actually carry this. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you can get vegetarian broth and sometimes they have chicken and or beef. And so, like I said, we're all going to be hanging in there. Oh, I would not put cream in it. I love the broth soup. Okay, Bonnie. Yeah. And so, like I said, I just sort of, um, we, we got some uh, Greek yogurt just for funsies, but you know, yeah, I don't have to have, I mean, like I said, I'm not a big dairy person anymore. I used to be. And I've really, oh, okay. And uh, yeah, Roberta said, you got to have garlic. You had to put some in there. Yes. Oh, just chopped it and just chopped and chopped onion. Yeah, I should have done that. That's the only thing I didn't do. I've been really like pounding my poor stomach with the onion and the garlic. <laughs> I really have. And I've been like, I'm so heavy handed with it. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me, let me, let me switch over to the uh, cameras here. Then you can sort of see me. Yeah, this, this daylight Right now, we're, we're, we're in this summer daylight, so it's very, very... I'm going to have to move myself closer. But anyway, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cleaning up and move this closer, and then it won't be so bright. But I'll have to see if I can turn my camera a little bit. But that's dinner. So anyway, but I just wanted to show you... If you can hand me that foil, I'll just show you a piece of um, mm -hmm. the ham. Yeah, thank you. So I cut... So the other day, I made a ham. And so the, the thing that I was talking about with the uh, lunch meat is you can make a turkey, a ham, or a chicken and just slice everything from it. And so the beauty of it is, is that you get, you know, you get real meat. There's no fake, uh, if you want to uh, scrape that over there, there's no, there's no fake meat. So that's the beauty, you know, so I always like to say, if you can avoid the, the fake meat, avoid the wet meat, <laughs> hate to be gross, but my, I worked with a guy who hated lunch meat and he just was like, I don't like wet meat. It grosses me out. I'd rather not. And so he would just eat like a cheese sandwich. And we would always have a box lunch at these meetings. And he just kind of got sick of uh, the lunch meat. <laughs> so so finally, they started making a veggie sandwich. And every time that we got the veggie sandwich, it was different because we never knew what it was. It was always like um, sometimes it was cauliflower. Sometimes it was cheese, you know, which is on the line of vegetarian. But you know, things like that. But just to sort of a be, it was really more for him <laughs> than anybody else. Okay. Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> That's correct, VJ. That is correct. Yeah, the time that it took you to make a sandwich, I made too. Now, the other soup is taking longer. Uh-oh. <laughs> no vampires will ever come to our house. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I love it. But yes, that's how quick. See? Now, I've been trying these fast meals and it's crazy. Isn't it crazy? But anyway, thanks for coming, VJ. <laughs> yeah, we're we're fat. We're not playing. We are not playing. <laughs> but I'll show you how it turns out. Ooh, it looks good. Let me throw a couple. Of, I, I I cut up some celery. I might throw a couple of pieces in here too. Yeah, I like the taste of celery. But it, yeah, this smells really good. And um, but I did. I ran out today and I bought celery. What else did we buy? We got yogurt. Um. 
else did we bought? We bought like a few veggie items. Ooh, fruit too for some fruit. Yeah. So we got some raspberries and uh, was it oranges? No, we got oranges mm -hmm. yesterday. Raspberries and uh, strawberries. Strawberries. So we got raspberries and strawberries. So we're 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 sort of planning for the next the juicing situation. <laughs> Or for the yogurt. Yeah, a little bit of both. Like, you know, we'll do a little bit of both. But like I said, you know, I had some greens in the bag. And make sure, you know, like I said, just wash. Make sure you wash all the veggies. But anyway, I'll show you just a piece of this ham that I cut. And it's different, you know, whenever you buy a ham from a supermarket. Or not buy ham. I mean, when you buy, like, the lunch meat. So this is what I'll show you. But now, I'm not a big ham person. But we had ham the other day. And you see... It's very, very lean. There's no, um, very little fat on this. So this is actually pretty good. And this is nicer than the ham that you would buy from the uh, supermarket, you know, from the deli. So, you know, that's, so I would just challenge you if you can just get a ch turkey breast, you know, you can get a uh, chicken breast, a whole chicken even, and then make your own uh, lunch meat that way. And it really doesn't take long. You just have to season it, put it in the oven and just let it go until it's done. So it reaches the temperature, you know, and that's it. Yes. Hold on, I got to sneeze, excuse me. Very good. A little bit of pollen's got me. Yeah, there we go. Oh, quinoa. Oh, okay, quinoa. Well, quinoa is very versatile. You know, it almost acts like a pasta, so you could put anything in there. And um, the Dollar Tree had a had a a Mediterranean book that had some quinoa recipes in there and it was good. And all they did was they put like a tomato sauce in there. That's what they did. They put a tomato sauce, they put cumin or some goram masala, if you know what that is. And uh, just put a little bit of vegetable oil, I'm not vegetable, oil, vegetable broth on it, cooked it until it was done. And then you could also put a little bit of like olive oil or butter and then some garlic. And I think you'd love it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and that's correct. Yeah, Bonnie, it takes, yeah, quinoa takes the taste of whatever you put with it. That is correct. And there's uh, Purple Dreams. Purple, it's Purple Dreams. Purple Crochet and more with Dreamy. Woo, bad reading. Hi, hi Dreamy. <laughs> yes, but quinoa is great. I like quinoa. It, it, in fact, it cooks faster than most pasta. And pasta is fast. You know what I mean? Pasta is very quick. So let's see. I'm going to take, let's take a look at the soup. I'll just keep showing the soup. I'm going to switch places here. But anyway, thank you all so much for coming. Ooh, let me get my little thing here. It's getting hot. Yes. But there's the soup there. I mean, it's going. I probably could have added a little bit more water and or, um, but it's going. Yep. Let me turn that down just a little bit. But there it is. I mean, this is how quick. So it took me what? It's 6.25. I started at 5, actually about exactly at 6. So we're basically done. Like, And that's crazy, right? So, you know, and so the biggest thing that I've done, the, the other thing that we started doing was um, the other day, the store that we went to had um, rye bread on sale. So I got some for my husband and he's been really liking that. So that's good. You know, rye bread's a little less uh, scary compared to the white bread. But yeah. Oh, yeah, this looks really good. Oh, I think this is done. Now, I could have cut these carrots up a little bit more, but basically the the, the lentils are done. I'm just going to take a little bit out here, and I'll just show you. Just, just I'm just taking just a little bit of the lentils. It's hard to see because it's a little bit white on white. Let me see if I can get it in there. But there's a couple of lentils on the end of the spoon. I'm just checking to see if they're done. Hmm. Just a little bit more, but they're almost done. Wow. That's great. But yeah, but like I said, if you want a little more seasoning, you, know, you could put more, more garlic and more. Uh-oh, uh squid. Uh-oh, I saw that. I used to serve with a seafood mix. Not, <laughs> oh, see, my daughter wouldn't eat one with the squid. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, squid is kind of interesting. Like, I, I kind of... I, I'm I'm a little emotionally like attached to the to the livestock and the food, so I have trouble eating like certain things only because I see the little face on them. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but yes, everybody's saying hey to Sandrine or uh, Katrina saying hey to Sandrine. Good to see you. 
And uh, how are you feeling? Oh, you won't touch squid. Yeah, my daughter likes it. I was surprised. She ate that at a very young age. She was probably like seven. I was like, girl, you're brave. Yeah, because I saw those, you know, they was, I don't know. Can't do it. Yeah, LOL, Bonnie, it's good. Yeah, it's good, but like, I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah, your daughter will try anything. She even ate alligator. She, oh, wow. Oh, whatever it is, she'll try it no matter what. I'm like, not me, no way. I understand that. <laughs> Yeah, I, like I said, I'm, I get emotionally attached to the livestock. So if I, if I weren't, I'd be okay. Yeah. Oh, there's Lydia. Hello. Let me put you there. Hello. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Yes. So, yeah, my daughter did like the... Uh, yeah. Oh, so the other thing that I like to use, too, is... Uh, what is it? It's quinoa couscous, which is kind of similar-ish. Very, very small pasta. Couscous is a small pasta. Oh, you said it's chewy. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, poor Sandrine fell. Yeah, sorry to hear that. hope you're feeling... You may have a concussion, I bet you. Yeah, well, make sure the doctor takes a look at you. For sure. Yep. And we got MOBS. Hey, Ashley. So we're done. We're just about done. I can't believe how quick this is, this is finishing up. Well, maybe what I'll do then while we're waiting for that to go is I'm going to just, um, I looked at the recalls and there really wasn't anything new per se, but we'll take a quick look and let me just make sure. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So that's the recipe. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. And they say, you know, you can put a little dollop of yogurt at the end. Now, you know, that's if you're into that. And, um, and they always say serve it with fancy bread. Ooh, yeah. Actually, if you want to undo this, this is the fancy bread. I forgot we had this. Yeah, this is the this is the older one. Well, let me show them this bread. And uh, but anyway, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the French bread. And let me see. I'm gonna look at the studio real quick. Yeah, so this is the French bread that we got, which is very very fancy, and uh, it's a nice big piece. And so, you know, soup is always good with a little piece of French bread. We love it. Um, yes. Yes, yes. So there's something that you can try. And this this we got from, from uh, Lidl, which is the supermarket. And they do a lot of really good baking. So if you have one in your area, they're really good. I'll give this to you. And let me give you a plate. Because I forgot to... Um, I, I forgot a plate. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let Moses. He's going to make his own sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we're done. I can't believe we're done. This is crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Like, like I said, I didn't think we'd be finished. Now I don't know if you want the rye cause the rye is right there. Do you want the rye? Okay. It's up to you. Yep. All right. So anyway, this is the rye bread. We got this and this looks pretty good. I just, just like one piece for me. Nothing. Um, Oh, you can't eat. Okay. You don't even right. I can eat bread, plain, just butter. Yes. Yes. And that's the same thing with me, Bonnie. I don't have to eat meat. I could skip like the whole meat situation and I'd be fine. But uh, this is what's really tricky with these. Uh, and you see this, this bread here is wrapped. This is how it comes. You know, it's wrapped both sides and it stays pretty well. I don't know how many, uh, but it's, it's not, you know, it's a little bit squishy. But this is really nice. So yeah, there's that. It's crazy, right? And um, so anyway, let me let me open this for you. Sorry about the crinkle. Yes. And then uh, let's see. Okay, VJ saying hey to everybody she missed, and uh, Ashley saying hey. And lately, I like toast and butter and peanut butter on it. I'm addicted. Yes, I am too. I eat peanut butter almost every day uh, for um, lunch. And every now and again, I would have like a, sometimes I would eat like a ham sandwich or something like that, or a bologna sandwich, but very rare. And, uh, and my, you know, my mother was like, that's all you want? And I'm like, yeah, that's it. Ham sandwich, bologna sandwich, peanut butter sandwich, but mostly peanut butter first. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's see. What, what did, uh, oh, your lecture just went out. Oh, no, Roberta. Yeah. See, I was afraid this may happen. So I was very happy that maybe, I'm sorry, there you go. It's open for you. I didn't want to crinkle too much more there. That's very loud. Can you do that, please? Yep. But anyway, I, you know, we did that. I just went, yay. 
you know, that was very exciting. Just let me give you another plate here. But yeah, this is great. I get my, okay. You want a small plate? Okay. Yes, yes. Hang on. Let me grab you. Oh my gosh. I am like a shrimp having trouble. <laughs> Do I have that pot? And I'll move it. Or you can just move that here. Put that. No, no, this pot. If you, because I don't need it. I was thinking I was going to use it, but I'm not. Yeah. Unless you need it. Are you good? Okay. Yeah, I'll just move this out the way. Yeah, I thought I was going to use this pot. It's not happening today, which is good. I'm very happy. I'm just leaving everything in the. Uh, I'm going to leave everything in the cast iron pan. I was going to change it, but yeah. Nope. All right, so anyway, I think we're almost ready to serve. So I'm going to do that in just a second. And I hope your electric comes back, Roberta. I know this is like the nightmare. And you see, I don't understand how I've been getting, oh, a film of mold on your refrigerated olives. How does vinegar mold? That is a good question. Ooh, I don't know. That's very unusual. Yes, yes. Interesting. See, I wonder if if those things somehow, if they get open before you even open them, if you know what I'm saying. Because that's the whole thing, like, I always wonder. But that is interesting. Huh. Okay. Oh, you like fried bologna. That's what Bonnie said. Ooh. And vinegar and over goes bad. That's weird. Yes, yeah, you always wonder if that's a situation. Yep. Let me see here. And, and that's a question. Yeah, olives in water mix. Is it? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, we were, yeah, I, I, that's what I was thinking too, because uh, vinegar does not usually, right? You see, jarred olives. Yeah, see, and, and sometimes I think, you know, they have that little thing that pops up. Sometimes I think those things get detached or whatever, you know, in, in the process of, of traveling and stuff like that. Uh oh, <laughs> a freight train. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, we have a bunch of those too, Roberta. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh, check the date. Yeah, that's what uh, Bonnie's saying, VJ. Check the date. And see, sometimes you do have to... Oh, here's the tomato. Yeah. Here's the tomato. And then I'll show you this beautiful lettuce that I got today. And this is this butter lettuce. Hold on. There we go. That's the butter lettuce. And see how beautiful that is? And that came out really nice. Yeah. Now, this stuff is hydroponics. So that I'm a little bit, you know, I always wonder if this is sort of, hold on, let me see if I can get in the picture. If it's like GMO or whatever's going on with the hydroponics. I don't know. I'm not a, like a fan, but people love that. But this is this is a, this butter lettuce that came in today. So it looked pretty good. Yes. But yeah, you, you're going to check and see if you landed in Oz. That's funny. Yeah, and that's a good question. Are they out of date? So anyway, so I'll give you that. So there's your lettuce. Oh, you already, oh, already got it. Okay, good. So we're good to go. So let me we'll have to show your sandwich. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. So that's Moses' sandwich there. And well, let me hide that comment. This is good. Yeah. So anyway, this is his sandwich. And it's looking pretty good. So that's the ham sandwich. And like I said, the biggest thing is, I think it's better if you if you cut your own. You know. If you cut your own meat off of the roast, you know, and that way, you know, kind of what's in there. Cause a lot of this lunch meat is very, very process. Yep. Yes. Oh, you, oh, you check on the pop. Yes. Yeah, it's funny how they have um, dates on that. And a couple of times we have been, you know, bitten with the, uh, which is gross. Oh, so you mix it with romaine. Yeah. See the romaine was looking kind of weird the other day. So I didn't get any romaine, but I should have gotten some today. We went into Aldi's and Aldi's had some decent looking romaine, but it wasn't like 100%. Okay, so we have um, Swoop Like Me. Hello. Are you over on IG? Yeah, I'm going to come over and say hi. Yeah, I'm sort of run I'm sort of running them both. Yo, I see. There you go, Swoop. Yes. And we got Amulographic. Thank you so much for joining. Joshua Gabriel. And I'm Biased LLC. Hey, Queen. <laughs> Good to see you, I think. And Wolfpack Master, good to see you. That's Jared, right? And then Tom61793 joined. Thank you so much. Yes. So I'll go back and forth. Yeah, I'll be saying hi to you guys over there. But thank you all so much for coming. That's good. 
Oh, okay. It, oh, okay. So Roberta's saying take it back to the store. All right. And show people. Yeah, that's a good idea. They may have others. And that does happen. I found something that was from January of 2024 in a store yesterday. Yes. So anyway, there's that. But it was November. And that's a new one. And so that's the other thing that I was I would always say is make sure that um, if there's oh yeah, these are these are done. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna have to put just a little bit more liquid in here. But this is pretty much done. And the carrots are actually um, tender. Let me turn that down. I'm going to put just a little bit more liquid in here. But this is good. Yeah, everything's nice and tender. I'm just going to just taste it for uh, seasoning. And then I'm just going to adjust the seasoning to whatever, you know. But this is good. It's done. So anyway, so maybe what I'll do is I'll serve this so you can just take a look at it. But anyway, and then I'll show you the, the chicken soup. So I'll have to get another. Let me grab another spoon. But yeah, I think this is it. I'm going to turn that off because uh, everything's nice and tender. I'm going to put this over here. Ooh. That's hot. Okay. So I'll just show you a little bit of the uh, lentils. So all I did was I just put a little bit of... Uh, Lentils, the cumin, a little bit of pepper flakes in there. And then I put the vegetable broth. And uh, and then I cut the carrots. I could have actually cut them a little bit smaller. But I always like to have a little bit of crunch on my, uh, on my veggies. Whoops. So anyway, so there's the lentils there. It's looking pretty good. Yes. But thanks for coming over. Yeah. So there's that. And then I'll show you the uh, chicken soup. Let's see how that goes. You get another spoon. All right. So his chicken soup is going to be, it's very fancy. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me see. I'm going to have to switch over here. Because they cook in like two seconds. That's why I don't want to move that over. This is really hot. Move him over. There we go. Yes, there we go. Aha. Beautiful. Um, can you you have to open them? Yep, yep, yep. So I'll get this going a little bit. But yeah, his soup is looking pretty good. And uh oh here. Got it? Here, just do this. Yeah, those things never open. But anyway, this is the chicken soup. And uh, and you see the meat's coming off the bones. So I'm going to put just a little bit of uh, noodles in there. And these are just the egg noodles, you know, that you, you find in the store. And I'm just going to let these, because these cook so fast. I always put these in at the very, very end. But he's finishing his sandwich. Come on now. He's stuck. Sorry about the crinkles. Okay. All right, let's stop right there. All right. I'm just going to let these go in for a little bit. But there's a lot more. He has a lot of broth in here. But there it is. So I'm going to let this go just for a few minutes. And then we're pretty much done. That's crazy, isn't it? This is great. And according to this, yeah, this cooks about four minutes. About four minutes on the noodles. That's good. All right. Let me take a look at the comments real quick. And then uh, we'll keep going. Right? Oh, we have Danette. Hey, or was it Danae? I can't remember. It's Danae. Yes, hello. Yes, yes. Hello, community. Yes. And that looks good. Okay, thank you. And then, um, oh, okay. 
then Bonnie's saying, if the mold is only visible on the surface, the roots may lie deep in the food. Mold needs a moist, yes, warm, organic matter. So you may not want to eat that. Yep, I got you. I remember reading that somewhere, too. And Bonnie's saying, hey, to everybody, thanks for coming in. Let's see. I missed somebody. Let's see. It's not magic swoop. Okay. Bonnie. I know somebody else came in. Nope. Maybe I missed one. Let's see. Hide the current one. Hold on. But thank you guys so much. This is good. So hopefully, oh, there's Janet. There we go. I knew I saw somebody. Janet, hello. Almost homesteading with Janet. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. All right. So it looks good. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So well, let's see. Uh, everyone's saying hi. Let me just make sure I got everybody. Oh, you're buffering. Okay. That's uh, Roberta. She's buffering a little bit. Poor thing. Yeah, the weather's bad. It is bad. Yes, you'll be going the early night. I understand. We that was us last Friday or Saturday. It was bad. Yes, Danae. Okay, want to make sure. All right now. And Janet saying hi. <laughs> Very cute. All right. So anyway, so let's see. Oh, this oh this meat is coming off the bones. Yeah, it's looking good. Let me see how these noodles are. Probably could have put a few more in. Oh yeah, they're almost soft. Ooh, this is good. All right, a couple more seconds. We'll let that go. Yes. Yes, yes. So anyway, so this is it. So, so far, if, oh, yeah, Bonnie's saying, VJ, don't eat those. Maybe take them back to, you never know, there maybe was a recall. Oh, yes. Speaking of recalls. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> so anyway, so I'll show you this again. So these are, this is the lentil soup. And this is more for the, you know, vegetarians. And then this is the chicken soup. And I made this for my husband um, before the show. And I put a little, you know, put a little video in there. Let me just see how this noodle is. That's pretty good. I'm going to make sure it's cooked just enough. It's a little bit more. But yes, I put like a big chicken leg quarter in there. And I seasoned it and did some other stuff to it uh, before I put it into the soup. And then I just added just a little bit. So I'm going to take a taste. I want to make sure that the seasoning's okay. And this is always a little tip. You know, anything that you, that you, you want to taste, you just want to make sure that it tastes okay. Okay, perfect. Mmm, that was good. Wow. Okay, so the uh, lentil soup is delicious. I will say that's probably my new favorite. Okay, and you'll have to tell me. I'm gonna see how Mister I bring it likes this soup. You start dicing those carrots smaller. Yes, I know they're big. No, the, yours I just put a hunk in there. I know because it's been cooking for a while. I understand. But look at this. This meat's coming right off. Yeah, I really. I yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they, you don't want mold. Yeah, mold is bad. But I did. I I took a big hunk of meat and I did a big hunk of. Um, so I'm gonna take a big hunk of meat off of here. But look at this. Look at this piece of meat. I mean, this is crazy. That's a big hunk of meat there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm just gonna put some on on his plate. Mm -hmm. Want to give you a big hunk of carrot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's really soft. When you when you when you eat it, it's gonna be. Almost mushy. Mm -hmm. All right. But I think the noodles are good. So I'm just going to serve this up. And we'll see if he likes it. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. So I'm going to put a couple of noodles in there. So I put, like I said, I put some collard greens in here. I put a little bit of celery. And you just use whatever you have, you know. And that's really the, the bottom line with this. I probably should have put a few more noodles in. And I probably will do that right now. But anyway, you tell me how this is. And uh, we'll see, Mr. I bring it. Mm -hmm. All right. Get you a spoon. It. You got a spoon? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see if he likes it. Yum, looks so good. Yes. So like I said, this is easy. You guys can do this. It, it's really, really simple. And, um, and it may need some more salt. Like I didn't go too crazy with the salt. So it might, it might need a little more. Let's see. Not bad. More salt. More salt. Okay. Let's get the color next time. Oh, you don't like the greens? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Put a little more salt in there. Hot texture. Texture. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Good for you. Yeah, doesn't really <laughs> he doesn't like the color greens. Mm, not like this. Okay. Well. I like color greens, but not in soup. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. He, he was not a big fan. But anyway, I want to put a couple more noodles in. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I need salt. He needs you need more salt. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. He he needs okay. So I I I did epic fail on the salt. 
I can, I'm going to put a little uh, seasoned salt in here. Putting it in there doesn't help me. I know, but I'm just saying. I'll put some more in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like light on the salt, y'all, because I'm trying not to kill mm -hmm. certain people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So you good? So let me see. How's it taste now? He's go. He's going for it. Let's see if he can do it. I'm gonna put a few more noodles in there. Is that good? Right. It needed more salt, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Put a few more noodles, and then we're gonna put the end of this. I'm gonna let this go for another five minutes, and we're done. So anyway, but let's talk a little bit about uh, while we're doing that. And then I'll turn this off. I think we are done. I can't believe it. So that's it. <laughs> All right. So those are the two items. He 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 you know he said he liked it more salt, and like I said, I've been I've been really good trying not to be too salty, but um, you know I, I can put some of that sazon in there too. Like I put some sazon in, but uh, not as I could have probably put a little more. All right, but anyway, here goes. I'm gonna switch over, and then so we're gonna let that go. But that's it, you guys. So, you know, you can do this. And like I said, I think everybody, you know, this gives you such a, a good idea, just some different things that you can try. All right. So let me let me find the recall list. <laughs> and uh, let's see what's new this week. And I, you know, not to scare you. Let's see. USDA. Let's try this one here. Mm hmm. OK. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a few new ones on this one. So this is the USDA. I'm going to make this big. And uh, let me turn that down a little bit. And then I'll share this. I'll share my screen. And these are the, the fast and healthy. Thank you, Suzanne. Yes, that's the evil plan. Yeah, this would be fast and healthy. And, and it's not hard. You know, it really isn't. All right, so let me show you guys this. This is the latest... Uh, the latest and greatest recalls. So let's see what's happening here. They're not as bad as last week. Last week was a little bit scary. I don't know. Every other week, it just seems scary. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to scare everybody. But, you know, like I said, the the biggest thing is you can always go and um, look at the food. You know, that's always the biggest thing. Now, can you see that okay? No, it's going to flip over in just a second. Look. It's very, it's very small. Okay, let me make it bigger. Hold on. Okay. So now, this is April the 12th. The brand is called King Cullen with two Ks. Broccoli cutlets. They were, um, had undeclared sesame and wheat from Grace's Kitchen. Uh, Multi-grain bread, Raleigh, roly-poly bakery, multi-grain bread had undeclared egg. And that's what, well, usually that's the main reason that a lot of people um, get these recalls. It's not like a, a high class thing or where it's causing a lot of stuff. But here's a veterinary thing here. Oh, wait, no, actually here's Feel Good Foods 412. That's today. Chai, cream cheese stuffed mini bagels, food and beverages, and it has gluten. And I guess they have to make sure that they let people know about that. Then this other one is Pen Pals, Max Lean, Show Tech, Mormons. This is uh, chicken, swine, and rabbit feed. This is like veterinary here. And it has um, elevated levels of magnesium, sodium, calcium, and or phosphorus. So that's not good for your, your animals. Let's see. Um, oh, the biggest one that I wanted you guys to know about is the Dollar Tree has a cinnamon recall right now. Um, and if you go in, usually on the front door, they have it taped there. And I forget the name of the product, but but the uh, it's all of the spices that they have at the Dollar Tree or still had a little bit of, uh, I, I think, believe it was salmonella. So take a look out for that one. I don't I cannot remember the name of that brand, um, but it's the seasonings that they get at the Dollar Tree. This is 410. It's Johnny's Parmesan Garlic Seasoning. Had some undeclared sesame. So nothing major there. Oh, and then this is something, uh, Medline and Centurion. This was April 8th. Convenience kits, which are medical devices. So the FDA looks at um, cosmetics, medicine, and food. 
So those, and this is why they look at these things. And this is a lack of sterility of these medical devices. So there's all these different things that you have to kind of look out for. Oh, and here's another one. Jack's potato salad, Kowalski, simply sides. It was April 10th. It had undeclared egg. That's right. That's the one there. But anyway, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to this other screen. There's a, there's a USDA page, and it's a little bit different from this one. But anyway, just so you know, there's all these things that they find. Yeah. And Suzanne saying, I sauteed cabbage and onions and ate it with smashed red potatoes. I like it. <laughs> Added some Frank's hot sauce and yum. Good job. All right now. Yeah, see, and, and it's really easy to do this, these kind of things. So that's the FDA. Let me find the USDA one, and uh, I'll show you that one. Because it's funny, the USDA, which is the U.S. Department of Agriculture, has a slightly different list, which I don't know why they do from the FDA, which is the Federal Drug uh, Administration. So it's crazy. So that's the FDA. Let me go to the USDA and see what's going on there. And then we'll just take a look at some of this stuff. But it's all these things are really crazy that you find. Where is this other one? Hold on, I'll have to do it this way. I think I stopped sharing. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just hang on to that. The USDA. I'm going to go in this way. .gov. Oh, let's see if this is it. Recalls. I think it's this one. If I can do this right. But like I said, these food recalls have been very interesting. Let me see if this is it. Oh, it's not letting me go in that way. Let me try it this way. USDA.gov. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Here's another page, and I'm going to share this one with you. And some of these are actually, there's these are slightly different from the ones that I showed you on the FDA. But let me share this one for you. Let's show you this one. And then we will be done which is good. So anyway, I just like to alert people to some of the stuff that comes out. Now, usually on the news, they have a, uh, they show you this stuff on the news, but not always. So I just want you to be able to see this. Okay. So there it is. Now, can you see that? See It'll what? just be in a second. It, it's going to be a screen. It's a little bit of a delay. Can you see that? Mm -mm. Okay, should be there. Yeah, my screen just did something really weird. Okay, there we go. Oh, there it is. It's on the left. Okay, there it is. You see that? Yeah, it's on my, it's on my left. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. There it is. Okay, so the FDA issued a public health alert for ineligible, and I don't know how to pronounce this word, products imported from the People's Republic of China. This was March the 21st. Okay. And um, let me go back to my other page here. And um, what they did was, let me see if I can go back. Oh, yeah, that came out nice. <laughs> let me see if I can exit the full screen. Okay, here we go. Yes. So anyway, um, let me see what's the deal with this one. These were illegally, report, illegally imported from the People's Republic of China and were invalid for entry into the United States. And it's frozen striped. Pangaceous moths? I don't even know what that is, but it's some kind of animal. Oh my gosh. But it's a frozen uh, product. And see, sometimes products come into the United States and they skip the uh, inspection process, which is bad. But the biggest one here is this um, Taylor Farms Pacific recalls Kroger brand ready to eat apple walnut with chicken salad bowl products due to misbranding. And this is a, usually that's what a lot of these things are misbranding. And they forgot to mention that there's wheat in there. That was March 13th. Um, there's this high class product contamination, Jen's breakfast burritos. This is March the 10th. We're going back a little bit, but uh, this had listeria in it. There's a breakfast burrito prod products and uh, listeria, which will get you pretty sick. And it's smoked bacon breakfast burrito, ham breakfast burrito, seasoned pork breakfast burrito. Okay, and then this other one here, this was from March 7th. This is an old one, and it's been going for a while. This is this Johnsonville Pol Polish kielbasa, which is turkey sausage. 
and it had foreign matter contamination. And what they found was pieces of rubber, yeah, in, in this product. So sometimes in the machine process, you know, things from the machine fall out into the food. And sometimes people break their teeth on these things. I think that's what happened with this product. Or, yeah, so anyway, things like that. And the last thing was this, uh, I'll just go back. This is going back to last month, March. Um, this says, this is CJ Foods, um, Trader Joe's chicken soup dumplings due to possible foreign matter contamination. And they say it might be contaminated with foreign matters, specifically hard plastic from a permanent marker pen. Yeah. So yeah, it's weird stuff. So anywho, <laughs> if you have any of these products, um, what they say is return them to the store, throw them away, do not consume them, blah, blah, blah. And that's kind of the deal there. So yeah, and this one here, um, this is MF Meat recalls raw meat products due to contamination by a non-food grade substance. This was February 29th. Um, this was raw meat. It was contaminated with mineral seal oil. Yeah, don't ask me. <laughs> okay. So anyway, not to scare you um, from the food, but it's good to keep an eye on these. Um, I'm going to close that window there. But it's always good to keep an eye on these products because you might have some of these in your, you know, in, in your house. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's what Janet's saying. I know there's like all kinds of stuff, but go to the USDA website. You can also go to the FDA. So it's USDA.gov, US, yeah, um, Union, Samson, Dog, Apple.gov, <laughs> and FDA.gov. Okay. So yeah, there's that. And there's Girl Dad. Hello. He came in just at the right time. <laughs> Yay. Okay. And Bonnie said, I don't buy much from the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. My daughter has something against them. So I go to all these in Walmart. Yeah. So, and then, um, yes. And then Suzanne said, oh, and I recommend avoiding buying any food from Dollar Tree as most of it's made in third world countries. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, the cinnamon right now is being recalled in the Dollar Tree. So if you purchase cinnamon from them, just, you know, if you go to the Dollar Tree website, I'm pretty sure they have it. It's funny. I didn't find it on the FDA but I think it was Salmonella that got into this cinnamon. So anyway, there's that. And there's Ashley. Hey. Yes. And if people have food sensitivities, they should avoid anything pre-made or processed. There you go, Suzanne. You're singing my song. <laughs> and swoops there. And that's it. Yeah, so Suzanne had a great dinner. Sautéed cabbage and onions. Ate it with smashed red potatoes. Added some Frank's hot sauce and yum. I love it. So anyway, the bottom line is we, we reached the hour and um, we, we made our, we actually, we made two soups, but I made the, um, let me see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to put it right here. This is the uh, lentil soup. We made that. And then we made the, uh, and this is the chicken noodle soup, which is right here. So, you know, pretty good and, and it's pretty easy. And so, like I said, you know, try your best to get as, you know, healthy and fresh as you can, you know, cause you, your, your body will definitely uh, thank you. And, you know, you only get one body and you only get one time around here on earth. So you want to be in the most healthy uh, way that you can be. Yes. Yummy. <laughs> yes. So anyway, um, that's kind of the, that's the, the eternal message that I have, you know, from my bring it every day. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. Yes, you're welcome. Because I, I, I am very passionate about food. I, I raised a foodie. I didn't know I was a foodie, but I, I guess I became a foodie as at an older age. And um, when, we moved to, when I moved to the Philadelphia area, I had no idea that people ate so well here. <laughs> and at one point, um, Philly was the fattest city in America at one point. I don't think they are anymore. But um, there's a good reason why. And it's because people are foodies here. And that really rubbed off on me. And I didn't think I didn't I didn't think I'd turn into a foodie, but I did. But then um, when we came out to the country, because we, we live in the country now, there's a lot more fresher food, <clears throat> excuse me, and there's a lot of farmers and things like that. So we're able to pick up some of the food that's really good. So this time of year, you know, you, you should be able to pick up more from the farmers, 
you know, the farmers, the farmers markets, you'll see people by the side of the road. And, you know, you, you kind of support that local economy and, you know, you get food that isn't trucked from Arkansas. I'm just going to say it. And, you know, for us, like Arkansas is far, <laughs> right? It's very, very far. So anyway, that's it. But let me, let me, let me say, hey, to the Instagram people. Thank you all so much for coming. You knew. Hello. Good to see you. Yes. Good to see you. Yes. And Tina Bailey's over there too. So anyway, so thank you guys so much for coming. And um, hopefully this will get you guys to, you know, thinking about, you know, just some of the things that you can make at home. And it's pretty simple to cook at home. You have to give yourself time and you have to do a little planning, but it's not too hard. And like I said, you know, we, the food right now in America is, in my opinion, very, very, it's, it's kind of sketchy. <laughs> so Oh, you're 10 minutes away. So Bonnie gets fresh food. <laughs> okay, so you get fresh food. Wow. So anyway, if you wanna if you wanna connect, yeah, you just type Kelly, just like VJ did. And come on, VJ. I can't get you on the screen. If you type, yeah, and then this is VJ's link. And I think most of us know each other, but if you wanna, you know, hook in and meet new people, make sure you type Kelly in the chat. And then you can, you know, I'll give you just a few minutes, but, but just the bottom line is thank you all so much for, uh, you know, humoring me with all my crazy food stuff and, and you know, and I'm going to keep going. Like, it's been fun. I've really learned a lot, you know, along the way and it's been kind of interesting, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's see. But yeah, this is exciting, but I really, you know, like I said, I appreciate you listening and, 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 you know, like I said, I just want to, you know, like they say, food for thought. Yeah, we just want you to, we want you to all do better. And, you know, like I said, um, my husband lost 15 pounds, just sort of eating a little bit better. And um, I know, like, Samoan Watchman was around 60 pounds. And uh, who else? Um, Drizzle, who, who did my theme song, lost uh, 100 pounds. And he just started... Uh, you know, it took him a couple of years to do it, but he was really eating poorly too. And he definitely said, you know, we've got a, you know, he, he, he's got kind of done the keto. Now I'm not a, I haven't, you know, brought myself to doing that, but, but that's really helped him. And I know also, um, Felicia, you know, from, uh, oh my goodness, Felicia, FR Humphrey, Felicia, you know, lost some weight too. And she just sort of started eating a little bit better. And that was pretty simple. And I said, man, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. And I, and, you know, I'm hoping I can get myself there as well. But anyway, let's see if anybody else got a couple more comments. Let's see. Comments. Come on. Yeah, StreamYard's trying to be mean. There we go. You enjoy Fridays. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. And okay, you lost 65 a year ago. 65 pounds. That's crazy. Bonnie. So you need to be teaching the class, <laughs> the people that have done it. Like, I've been lucky. I, I've been sort of the same. Yes, she eats the carnivore. Yeah, Felicia does the carnivore. Yeah, she's doing the bone broth and the, a lot of meat. Yeah, I believe she is. Yeah. But she said she's about 30 pounds down. And uh, Samoan Watchman was down, I think, 50, 60. So this is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, people are doing great. So I'm very happy that I can sort of... Uh, Get you thinking. That's all. <laughs> yes. And have a great weekend. Yes, you too. And uh, enjoy everything. And uh, peace and love. And I will see you all, you know, next time on the YouTube streets. Oh, there's girls. Oh, girl dad. There we go. Girl dad's link. Yes. Yes. And there's VJ's link. Okay. All right. So <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh oh. What did she, what did she say? Uh oh. I think. Oh, oh, are you? <laughs> you know what's funny? That's the word I call people all the time. <laughs> Heifers. <laughs> wow. So Weight Watchers, see? There's something to that. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> Some days that's the way I feel. But I'm only five feet tall, so I can only, I have to really be careful not to get too big. <laughs> There's not a whole lot. I can't hide it anywhere. You know what I mean? It's hard. All right. So listen, yeah, have a blessed day. Thank you guys. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much to everybody on Instagram. 
and uh, we'll be seeing you soon. And give it a try. And like I said, if you try any of the recipes, let me know because I just want to see if I didn't scare you <laughs> and if you liked it. It was good. All right. And if you hated it, you can let me know too. Yeah. It's all good. Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Yes. 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 All right. So anyway, have a good weekend, you guys. Um, you know, eat well, eat fresh, and try to cook a little bit at home whenever you can. It's pretty useful. All right. So we'll see you soon and take care. So bye-bye.